I'm going to photograph two shows in one of the most difficult concert photography venues you can imagine. And I'm going to show you what we did to address all the issues and let you follow us along through part of the evening. So stay tuned. I'm Robert Maxfield and I'm a concert photographer in Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas. And welcome to our channel. Hey everybody. Welcome to the downtown heritage district of the city of Irving. And tonight we're going to have a concert right here in the park. So hold tight, we're going to take care of all of this and we're going to let you see what we do during the show. Turn it off. Okay. Don't turn it off. I don't care. We're on. We're on. Well, we got cleared for the show. Both artists we should be good. We're fine with that. Uh, just so you want to know from our look that we had on Thursday night, we're sitting at 97 degrees right now instead of 101, 102, so that's a lot better. At first glance, you may not notice the moray pattern in the wall, but if you take a look at that brick wall where the red arrow is pointing to, you will see the squiggly lines in the moray. The way to defeat the uh, moray that you, we find in the video is, and in some of the photographs is by um, taking and changing your angle side to side up and down until it minimizes. Um, you can actually see this through your viewfinder. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it, it's very, very noticeable. So uh, <laughs> anyway, Percy's trying to give me a hand here. Uh, but change your angle, change your side to side, change it up and down, move it around until you get something that you can see where the, the angle disappears a little bit, and the more it disappears. The second problem is the big jumbotron in the background. You never, ever know what's going to be on it. Another big problem that's becoming more and more... Um, more and more noticeable is on a lot of places is you have um, advertisement billboards behind the artist and one thing about the jumbotrons is they you never ever know what's going to be on them so you just have to time your photograph as best you can to make sure that you don't have something that's distracting uh, something that clashes color wise or or causes uh, exposure issues and um, that's how you defeat pretty much the jumbotron kind of uh, kind of issues the venue is oriented north and south and you have a very harsh sun in the west at this time of day and it's never a good idea to point your camera into the sun this causes a very big issue one of the problems that's been in photography since the beginning of time has been uh, backlighting or shooting against the sun and uh, you get everything from uh, lens imperfections to bad exposure to whatever is, is going to happen. So the key situation there is to not shoot directly into the sun so that you get flare and trying to avoid that. And in this case, uh, we changed our angle to instead of pointing straight at the artist, we moved to about a little bit of a 45 degree angle to get them more uh, up against the background and, and that's how we you know we cured that issue. One of the issues you have to deal with is a very low stage and they allow the crowd to get very close. There is no pit area to say in this uh, at this venue most of the time. Another issue with this venue, we love the venue. The venue is, is super. It's close to home. It's great. It's clean. It's nice. But they allow the fans to get right up against the stage. And that's fine, too, because it's all about the fans. But it makes it more of an issue for us to photograph because the stage is so low and the fans are right up against it in some cases. And when they're not, there's a, there's a strip between the stage and the... Um, in the grassy area and there's no there's no pit so in this case but uh, what happens is you've got a lot of people 
crammed up close uh, into the, into this uh, stage area. In the grass area, you may have everything from mosquitoes to um, uh, gnats to whatever. In this case, last night we didn't have any of that, or the night before last, we didn't have any of that to really deal with. It was really, really, really nice. But there's always that kind of possibility. And um, you want to be aware of the fans. It's all about the fans. And be courteous. But uh, know they're going to be there. And uh, with the low stage and the people up on the hill, they were taking photographs and video recording with their, with their phones. Be courteous to them, too. So uh, that can become an issue is, uh, is how close the fans are, what the area behind the fans is like. It's a grassy area and uh, just be prepared. We uh, carried uh, uh, some citronella uh, bracelets and uh, plenty of cold ice water and, and uh, that kind of thing to keep us, uh, keep us from having any issues. You get very distinct highlights and shadows at this venue and you have to be aware of where they line up. The next uh, issue we had to deal with is very, very harsh shadows and very, very, very strong highlights. Uh, it was real bright on one side and there's like a line in the middle and it's dark on the other side. So that causes a problem because when you have the artist in your viewfinder where that line between light and dark in its intensity uh, affects your photograph greatly. So you have to make sure that you have it composed properly. If you don't, then it can mess up a lot of photographs and make them worthless and kind of trash. So um, be aware of what the, uh, the highlights and the darkness and the shadows actually looks like when you're taking your photograph. And the really, really, really good news is at this time of night, you get that, I don't know where this term, I, I, the golden hour kind of thing. And you get some really nice creamy colors and some, ni some nice backgrounds. Uh, when you're shooting with the sun, uh, uh, if in this case, the sun was setting in the west. We're shooting uh, towards the east to the artist. And it, it creates a, a very nice, smooth photograph. And uh, it's one of the nice things about shooting at this venue and location. So um, while there is obvious problems, there are pr uh, things that ways to cure them, and uh, there's some very very strong benefits. It's this venue, the side besides all its its issues, is one of the better venues that we work at uh, all year long. It, it's it's well maintained and uh, and it's clean and nice. It's just a good place to work. I'd like to take this time to say thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, confusions, anything you'd like to know about what we covered, man, please leave them in the comments. We appreciate it. Also, like to say, please, if you found anything useful, anything at all you liked it, like and subscribe. It helps us out tremendously, and we always appreciate you watching. So uh, thank you, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.